this? That's called a master quartz. If you set that into the large slot in the center of your arcus, you'll be able to use arts. Go on, give it a try.
light means that you've successfully synchronized with your Arcus. Congratulations! Now you can use art as much as you want. These Arcus units have plenty more nifty features. But I wouldn't want to bombard you with too much info all at once, so we'll cover those another time. Anyway, since you've got your Arcus all set up and ready to go, here's what I want you to do. When you step through that door, you'll be in an underground testing area. Basically, it's a dungeon. It's pretty large and full of twists and turns. I'd almost guarantee you'll get lost at least once. But when you find the exit, you'll be able to return to the first floor of this old schoolhouse. There are monsters wandering around though, so don't let your guard down even for a moment. With all that said, let's commence our special orienteering exercise. Your objective is to make your way through this area and back to the surface. Make it back in one piece and I'll be happy to field any complaints you might have. If you make it back safely, I might even give you a kiss. Free of charge. On the cheek, of course. Uh, um... I don't think she's joking. <laughs> and just where do you think you're going? Were you planning to wander off on your own without saying anything? I have no interest in becoming friends with anyone here. And I'm surprised that you, of all people, give a damn what I do. Unless you've suddenly decided you do want to keep company with one of those stuck-up hedonists, after all. Still, if you're afraid of the monsters, I suppose I could accompany you. After all, what kind of Erebonian noble would I be if I didn't have at least some degree of prowess with a sword? And noblesse oblige dictates that it's my sacred duty to protect powerless commoners such as yourself. What? what the hell? Nobody's asking your High Excellency to deign to help us! If that's how you're gonna be, I'll just find my way out of here before you! I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself without some relic of an outdated class that's still dragging me down! What should we do? The only thing we can do. We should begin exploring these ruins ourselves. I believe it would be prudent to remain in small groups, however. Would the two of you have any objections to accompanying me? Fine. It would be a huge help, actually. And you're welcome to join us as... Well... I suppose that's a no. Perhaps we'll run into her along the way and she can join us then. So, shall we be off? I'm certain you gentlemen will be fine, but do take care. Okay. If you'll excuse us, please. Huh. <laughs> Not nah, such a hot first impression there, huh? You can say that again. I'll have to clear things up with her later. 
Anyway, how do you guys want to do this? Should the three of us stick together too? Sounds good to me. I'd get pretty anxious wandering around a place like this alone. No objections here. I'd be happy to accompany you. I don't believe I've introduced myself yet. My name is Gaius Warzel. I just arrived in the Empire, so any help you can offer would be much appreciated. Oh, so you're from abroad. I'd been wondering. My name's Reen Schwarzer. It's nice to meet you. I'm Elliot Craig. So, you fight with that? Of course. Why else would I be carrying it? It's a spear, but it has that odd cross-shaped head. It looks kind of awesome. Think of it as combining the best parts of a spear and a poleaxe. I was pretty handy with it back home. But speaking of weapons, I have to say, yours looks pretty unique. Oh, this thing. Is it a staff? Wait, no, it's an orbment, isn't it? Both, actually. It's an orbital staff. The tech is pretty recent. This one's still a prototype, more or less. Back during enrollment, they told me I had some aptitude for it, so when it came time to choose, I just sort of ran with it. Interesting. I've never seen anything like it before. Can't say I have either. They're still in development apparently, so there aren't too many around just yet. But that said, I'm curious about what you've got there, Reen. Oh, my sword? Yeah, but what kind of sword is it? It's different from the kinds of swords I thought the people in the Empire used, though. It's an Eastern style of saber called Itachi. Any way you slice it, though, it's basically a longsword. Wow, that's one beautiful blade! The craftsmanship looks exceptional. They're renowned for the layering of their steel and the sharpness of their edge. Truth be told though, I'm still a little hesitant to be swinging around something this dangerous. Seriously? If that's what hesitant looks like, I'll bet confidence will make you unstoppable. Well, you sound like a good guy to have around when the going gets tough. Speaking of which, I think we've been standing around long enough. We should really be getting ourselves into trouble. I think I can manage that. You saw it yourselves. Trouble has a way of dropping in on me. Let's take it slow and steady, though. We need to adapt to each other's fighting styles to really gel as a team. Got it.
A monster? Huh, never seen this kind before. Looks like a flying feline. Careful, everyone. It's a fight they want. Leave it to me. Come on! My turn! Let's keep moving. Please tell me there aren't more of those things lurking around here. I hate to tell you, but I can sense more further in. Anyway, let's just stay alert.
treasure chest.
it's my turn. Marcus, activate. Take this. <laughs> I go where the wind takes me. down here yeah and to make sure we're not going in circles My turn.
my turn. My turn. We should hurry. <sighs> Elliot, are you okay? I don't see any obvious injuries. I'm okay. I was just so relieved the fight was over. The strength kind of just left my legs. I'm amazed how calm you two are. You don't seem tired or worried or anything. I guess I'm just used to fighting monsters like these. You need a hand? N no, I'll be fine. It was just a momentary lapse on my part. I can get up. And there we go. Look out! Elliot! Looks like I made it just in time. Thank Adios for that. Oh 
Oh, it's you! You said your name was Machias, right? That's right. I came to realize that I shouldn't have just stormed off like I did. Let that arrogant noble goad me into losing my composure, acting on impulse. So I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I acted foolishly and I hope you can forgive me for it. A sweat. Water under the bridge. Yeah, we all have moments when we say or do things we regret. That's human nature for you. Oh, and thanks for saving me, by the way. I'm just glad I happened to be passing by. After I'd cooled my head, I decided to retrace my steps, and there you are. Is it just the three of you here? Yeah, we stood around talking for a while, so the others are probably ahead of us at this point. I don't think there's any reason to go back any farther. I can't imagine you'll find anyone there. I see. Uh, I... I don't suppose you'd mind if I came with you, would you? I'm reasonably skilled with a gun, so you might find it useful having me along. Sure thing. Welcome aboard. The name's Reen Schwarzer. I'm Elliot Craig. It's nice to meet you. My name is Guy Warzel. It's a pleasure. The pleasure's mine, I assure you. My name is Machias Regnitz. Could... Could I ask you what social class you each belong to? I realize how that must sound, uh, considering my recent outburst. But please, don't take it personally. I'm simply curious to know who I'm associating with. Um, well, both my parents are commoners. Likewise. Though my homeland has no class system to begin with. So you're from abroad, then? What about you, Reen? Well... Let's just say I haven't got a drop of noble blood in my veins. So I guess we're all in equal standing here. Well, now that's a relief. We should probably get moving then. I'm somewhat concerned about the girls, as you might imagine. I'd feel much better if we were around to help if they wound up in danger. Yeah, I suppose there's strength in numbers. All right, let's go. Place like this even doing on the school grounds. Yeah, who puts a giant trap door in a campus building?
not good. No time to waste. Just getting started.
Nation. Turn. There. All right. My turn. How about this? Come on. Ha. My turn. Arcus. My turn. Uh. Oh, we did it. Ha! 
to me. My turn. How about this? Go. Ha! That's that. Let's keep moving. We meet again. Uh, good to see you guys are hanging in there. I'm glad the four of you are unharmed as well. Well, it seems you've cooled your head a bit at least. <sighs> yes, I've calmed down now. At any rate, I don't believe I've introduced myself yet, have I? I'm Laura S. Arsade, from the town of the Graham. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Huh. The Graham? That's down on the southeastern outskirts of the Empire, isn't it? Correct. It's an old castle town on the shores of Lake Ebel. We're connected to the rest of the country by train, but other than that, it's a fairly remote region. That name sounds so familiar. Wait, so your father would be... Yes, my father is Viscount Arsade, Lord of the Graham. Do you take issue with that? No, not at all. <laughs> Machias, was it? I can only speak for myself, but I don't feel I've ever done anything to bring shame upon myself in Adios' eyes. And I fully believe the same to be true of my father. Uh, please, I meant no offense. I'm sorry if... if, if I... Uh, say, I don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Emma Milstein. Like Laura, I come from a distant region of the Empire. I was only able to attend Thor's thanks to a scholarship, in fact. It's very nice to meet you. A scholarship? Hmm, indeed. Now that you mention it, our instructor did say yours was the top score on the entrance exam. <sighs> I think I was outdone. Am I a girl, no less? Must be quite the prodigy. <laughs> Maybe it seems like it now, but really, I'm not. I don't have any training in the martial arts either, so this is the weapon they recommended for me. Oh, cool! You got an orbital staff too! Yours looks different from mine, though. Huh, so it does. I wonder if it's just cosmetic. Hmm? Is something the matter? We're all acquainted now. It's only proper that you introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm Lisa R. from Ruwer. It's a pleasure to meet almost all of you. Hmm. Uh, 
Elisa. Ruler, huh? What's it like living there? There's probably a new technological breakthrough every week. The Rhineford Company is based in Ruhr, and they're the largest heavy industry corporation on the continent, aren't they? I suppose they are. Uh, so, hey. I guess that bow must have been in that case you had with you when we first met, right? I've never seen one like it. Is there some kind of orbital mechanism built in? There is, but I don't see how that's any of your business. Ouch. Um, yeah. Anyone got any ideas on what to do now? We've all run into each other wandering around. How about we stick together? I think that would be for the best. It's not safe for a group of girls to travel alone. You may require protect... You needn't to be concerned about that. I beg your pardon? I don't mean to boast, but I'm confident my swordsmanship will be more than sufficient to protect us. For now, I think it's best to remain in separate groups. There are still two of us who remain unaccounted for. That's right. We still haven't run into that silver-haired girl. In that case, two teams means double the chance to find them. Two teams is double the coverage, and double the chance of crossing paths with our missing companions. How's that sound? I have no objections. So then, shall we be off? All right. We'll see the four of you later then. doesn't seem like she's gonna let that go, does she? It was clearly an accident, everyone could see that. But I don't suppose it makes any difference to her. Still, is no one else worried about leaving a group of girls to fend for themselves in a place like this? There are four of us here. Perhaps one of us should go follow them. I don't think we have anything to worry about as long as Lore is with them. She really wears her skill on her sleeve. I doubt she drags around a sword that big just for show. It's certainly an enormous blade. I'd call it comically huge if it didn't look so dangerous. But at the end of the day, a lady is a lady. She's taller and sturdier than I am. Though I admit it's still hard to believe anyone could swing that beast of a sword. I'll bet she can whip it around without breaking a sweat. The Arside School of Swordsmanship serves as a general basis for the techniques used by knights throughout the Empire. And her father, the Viscount, is arguably the strongest swordsman in the country. People call him the Radiant Blade Master. I doubt any of the other students here could even stand their ground against her in combat, much less beat her. Wow. Interesting. I didn't know there were still roots of the old knightly styles alive in the Empire. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Reen. A hobby of yours? I'm a swordsman myself. I guess the lore sort of comes with the territory. At any rate, how about we pick up the search? I'm worried about that silver-haired girl, and we still need to track down Duke Alborea's son, too. That's true. <laughs> I couldn't care less what happens to that pompous ass. He can rot down here. <laughs> Come on now, that's no way to treat someone you just met.
looks like the path splits. Which way do you think we should go? I feel a little wind blowing from the east. I bet the exit's that way. Treasure chest! We build our formation! My turn! It's my turn. Right. How about this? Okay, it's safe for now. What's wrong? M more monsters? No, not monsters. It. <laughs> You're pretty sharp. Oh. It's the silver haired girl. I'm glad to see you're all right. Though, it looks like there was nothing to worry about in the first place. Nope. I'm small and quick. These things can't lay a finger on me. Oh yeah, Fee Classel. That's my name. You're just over halfway through. Keep it up.
later. Hey, wait! Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? I'll be fine. I'm used to this. See you at the end. What just happened? Wow! She certainly wasn't fibbing about being quick on her feet. I guess we really don't need to worry about her. Yeah, now I'm more convinced than ever that she knows exactly what she's doing. Time to waste. that? Someone's fighting up ahead. Come on! Uh, Rain! Wait for me! Incredible! 
was really something. Judging by that display, I don't think he needs any help from us. I take it that's another school of Imperial swordsmanship? Right. That's court fencing, an agile style favored by the nobility. And judging by his poise, he's no amateur. Did you need something? <sighs> Sorry, I was just admiring your swordsmanship. I'm Reen Schwarzer. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself earlier. I I'm Elliot Craig. Guys, Warzel, nice to meet you. I believe I have already introduced myself, but once again, I'm Yusis Alborea. And I have to say, I didn't think you had it in you. I'm impressed. What are you talking about? After all that bluster about finding your way to the exit alone, I wasn't expecting you to actually rely on others for help. I assume you came to your senses shortly after you stormed off, and then wandered back to apologize like a good boy. Truly, the virtue of the common man. Why, a preening noble such as myself would be far too proud to do such a thing. What the hell is your problem? You nobles really are all the same. So full of yourselves, it's a wonder you don't pop. And you're not just a garden variety noble either. House Alborea is one of the highest ranking in the country. You just love looking down on us less fortunate souls, don't you? You're one to talk. I don't need a lecture in rank from the son of the Imperial Governor. Wait, what? Oh, I thought the name Regnitz sounded familiar. Carl Regnitz, the first commoner ever to hold the seat of Imperial Governor in Heimdall. The first to rule the capital. And this headstrong young lad just so happens to be a chip off that old block. Pretty rarefied air for a simple commoner, don't you think? What does that have to do with anything? Yes, my father is the Imperial Governor, but he earned that position through years of hard, honest work! Don't you go lumping him in with you nepotists who get your titles handed to you just for being born! Perish the thought. No, I mainly just regard your father as a reformist, and a close friend of the Chancellor at that. And as you're vividly aware, his faction is in conflict with the Noble Faction, led by none other than the Four Great Houses. When you look at it that way, your vitriolic disdain for the nobility suddenly seems rather... cheap, wouldn't you say? You, you son of a... M Magius, don't do it! I know he's taunting you, but lashing out at him isn't going to solve anything. And you, sis, don't you think that was a little uncalled for? I wasn't the one who started this. Let me... Damn it, just let me go already! I'm sorry, okay? Just... Leave me alone for a while. You guys should just go on ahead with him. Oh. I think you went a little too far, Yusis. 
Being at odds with Machias is one thing, but dragging his father into it is pretty low. You're better than that. <sighs> Perhaps I was a bit out of line. It would seem I still have much to learn. Huh? You look shocked. Why? W well, you're the son of Duke Elberea, right? I wasn't expecting the son of a noble to admit he was wrong. Ah, w wait, no, that came out wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> There's no need to address me so formally. We may come from different social spheres, but here at this academy, we're supposed to be on equal standing. Or so the idea goes, anyway. Y yeah, that's true. I, I mean, yes, I'm with you all the way there. <sighs> is class really that big a deal here in the Empire? It is. This country has a long history, and the class system has been one of its central institutions for most of that. So what are you going to do, Eusis? Maki is said to go with you, but I don't want to press you into coming along if you don't want to. I was intending to press on to the exit by myself. But I'd prefer not to mimic the actions of his ilk, so I'll accompany you. Wh what? I I'm just surprised we're worthy of your company. I mean, I'm looking forward to having you on the team. Let's just go with that. We should get moving then. Come on. to break the ice. My turn. Very well. Handle this. Arcus, activate! Leave it to me. There. Together, we're unbeatable.
a treasure chest. Enemies ahead! We'll have to fight! My turn! Uh... All right. My turn. <laughs> My turn. Give it up, everyone. What? My turn. It's my turn. Together, we're unbeatable. Are we... Looks like we are. That definitely seems to be the exit. I can see the sunlight streaming in, so I'm guessing we're finally clear. Ugh, this was a complete waste of time. Pointless busy work at best. Considering the school's esteemed founder, I was expecting more of a challenge, but nothing here posed even a modest threat. Did we even fight the same enemies? I feel like I've been stretched to my limits. What was all that business about Class 7 anyway? Good question. Was that? There. The statue? What the heck is that? A gargoyle come to life? What sorcery is this? Monsters like this common in the Empire? Not outside of old wives' tales, they aren't. The sink's cutting off her only route to the surface. No choice. We have to fight it. Right. Finally, an opponent worthy of my skill. Helios, help us. Ah! 
This looks tough. Careful! Here we go! this <laughs> my turn keep it up everyone leave it to me Very well. Very well. Arcus, activate! Leave it to me. Turn. Very well.
I'll handle this. handle this. Very well. Very well. My 
turn. Keep it up, everyone! It's my turn. Very well. My turn. My turn. There. I'll handle this. Keep it up, everyone! All right. My turn. That's that. Let's keep moving. Great! <laughs> I did it! Nice. Well, that should be the end of it. No, it's down, but not out. Ah. That's one hell of a second wind. <laughs> I can appreciate a certain degree of tenacity, but this thing needs to just die. You've certainly got some good timing. Oh, seems like you're all okay, at least. I'm sorry we took so long. You're here, and that's what counts. So, a gargoyle, is it? I didn't expect to find the Dark Ages alive and well down here. It doesn't seem like it'll go down easily. Indeed. It's brushing us off as though we barely even scratched it. But with this many of us, if we can just find an opening? Fine. I guess I'll help out. Looks like you started the party without me. You. Releasing limiter. Take this! Bright shot! An opening! Go!
I think that's the end of it. At the very least, that creature doesn't seem like he'll be coming back for a rematch anytime soon. What happened there anyway? Right at the end of the battle... Now that you mention it, I did feel something wash over me for just a second there. It was like each of us were engulfed in some faint blue light. What? I did notice something as we fought. Perhaps it was just the blur of combat. But I felt like I could see everyone's movements in precise detail. I don't think it was just your imagination. Agreed. I have a feeling what we just experienced was... The biggest selling point of the almighty Arcus? Give this man a prize! Looks like friendship and teamwork saved the day once again. I'm so proud of you guys! Anyway, that about finishes up today's special orienteering exercise. Aww, what's with the long faces? I thought you'd all be happy! What, what are we supposed to be happy about? I have so many questions, I'm not even sure where to start. Oh? I'll take a stab at it. What exactly is the purpose behind this Class 7? I mean, we get that it's supposed to be some sort of melting pot that includes a broad cross-section of people. But why were the nine of us chosen in particular? Hmm... That is a valid question. There's no single monolithic reason why you all made the list. But if I had to name a major contributing factor, it'd be those Arcus Orbments you've got there. How so? Well, like I explained earlier, the Arcus units are developed jointly by the Epstein Foundation and the Reinford Company. Like any battle ornament, they let you use arts, and these have communication functionality built right in. But their crowning feature is what's known as combat linking. That's the phenomenon you all experienced just now. So that's what that was. Seems like a pretty apt term. It did feel like we were all connected somehow. Precisely! It doesn't take a genius to imagine how much of an advantage a feature like that would be on a real battlefield. An elite unit that can sense each other's movements, acting in perfect sync even in the most chaotic conditions. You can hardly put a price on that! It could bring about a revolution in the way wars are fought. Hmm. It does sound rather... Idealistic. Yeah, the technology has its limits. Some have a natural aptitude for it, others just... don't. And out of this year's fresh batch of bright-eyed students, the nine of you turned out to have the highest aptitude. And since aptitude trumps background in Class 7, well... Here you are. I see. But what gives us this aptitude, though, as compared to our peers? It seems so... random. What indeed? As promised, if any of you have objections to being in this class, speak now or forever hold your peace. I think that pretty much covers the hows and whys of your situation. But this program isn't cheap to run. So we're not about to force anyone into it if they don't want to be here. You should also be aware that Class 7's curriculum will be tougher than any other class's coursework. Just fair warning. So now you know. And that leaves you all with an important decision to make. 
Will you stick with class seven or not? Oh, if you opt out, you'll just be placed in the class you would have been assigned to otherwise. There's no pressure. Nobles will land in class one or two, commoners in three, four, or five. It's still just the first day, so there's no real catching up you'd have to do. I'm sure you'd fit in just fine. I'll do it. Whatever Class 7 has to throw at me, I'm game. Oh, wait, what? Just like that? So you're the first, then. You seem pretty sure about it. Any particular reason? Not really. I just feel like I've put my family out asking them to send me to this school. So, if it gives me more to show for my time here, I'll take whatever opportunities come my way. Hmm, a noble sentiment. Count me in as well. The greater the challenge, the more I can push myself to excel. One can't hone a blade without grit, after all. Let's make it three. Considering how far I came to attend this school, it'd be silly to back down before I even started. Well, looks like we've got the country's strongest freshman on board, and our foreign exchange student, too. Any more takers? Allow me to take part as well. I was only able to come because of the school's generosity. So I feel it's my duty to help in any way I can. S sign me up too! I kind of feel like fate brought us here for a reason, you know? And you all seem pretty easy to get along with. And that's a yes from our two Orville staff testers. Though I feel compelled to remind you. Your weapons are still in the prototype stage. So on top of your other work, I'll be expecting reports from both of you. Ha, of course. <sighs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Let me join too. Oh, there's a surprise. I was almost certain your rebellious streak would see you opt out just on general principle. It does bother me that you've got us using these Arcus units that are still pretty clearly in development. But if I let every little nitpick like that hold me back, I'd never amount to much. <laughs> Words to live by right there. And that brings us to an even six. Now, what about you, Fee? Don't really care either way. You can choose. Not this time. This is one call you're going to have to make for yourself. That was the deal, remember? You need to take control of your own life. Uh, fine, I'm in. <sighs> well, at least you committed. We've got a magnificent seven now. Which leaves just the two of you. <coughs> I can see you got issues with each other, but that doesn't mean you can't at least try to work together. Why, if you just look past your differences and embrace the joys of youth, I'm sure you'll become the best of friends. Like hell we will! exploitation of the common people by the aristocracy is a blight on every facet of Arabonian life. Unless something is done about it, this country has no future. I appreciate your candor, but I don't think you're going to achieve much by lecturing me about it. Well, at least that makes this simple. I, Yusus Alborea, claim my place as a member of Class 7. Son of a duke! 
Just the thought of being in the same class as commoners should make you sick. I'll thank you not to tell me how I'm supposed to feel. As far as the House of Alborea is concerned, there's little difference between other nobles and commoners. Besides, this should at least ensure I won't have fools flitting about every day trying to win my favor. <laughs> that said, I have little interest in getting drawn into your petty arguments on a daily basis either. I think it would be prudent for us to go our separate ways. I'm certain we can at least agree on this, no? I don't need some pompous ass who coasts through life on his father's coattails telling me what to do. I'm in. Come hell or high water. You might have had your successes spoon-fed to you up to now, but no outmoded class system is going to hand you trophies anymore. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> They're going to be like this pretty much all year, aren't they? Sure seems that way. I wouldn't bet on them ever seeing eye to eye. Oh. <laughs> the pots shouldn't be too hard on the kettles. Give a guy a break. Well, how about that? Nine out of nine! With that, I'd like to congratulate all of you on being the first ever Class 7. I hope you keep those high spirits all year, because with the workload we've got planned for you, you'll need it. Well, well, I wasn't expecting Class 7 to turn out quite as diverse as this. It certainly promises to be an interesting year. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. But perhaps this too is the divine providence of the goddess, no? How do you mean? Seeing them there, I feel they have the potential for the light we seek. A light that can break through the storm clouds that continue to build over our nation day by day.
morning. Are you heading to school now too? How about we walk there together? No problem. I'm guessing everyone else left already, huh? Okay then, he's not sensing anyone? What does that mean exactly? Morning! Are you two on your way to school? Uh, yeah. Come on, Emma. We're going to be late. Hey! Wait for me, Elisa! We'll see you in class. I never would have guessed she'd hold a grudge this long. She knows it was just an accident, right? She has to. Can't believe she'd be so... sensitive. Well, as long as you keep trying, I'm sure she'll understand. Eventually. Class Seven's got enough tension as it is, what with our two, uh, prideful warriors at each other's throats. So I think it would be a load off everyone's mind if you and Elisa could make up at least. And that's where we'd be if we weren't in class 7. Dormitory number 2, for all the common folk like us. Well, they did a good job. It's got a nice feel to it. I just wish it were a little closer to the academy. Hey, you're in our way. Step aside at once. Ah. <sighs> Class seven, I see. It, 
Is something the matter? You're just a ragtag bunch of nobodies, aren't you? Come on, we're leaving. Ah, so they're from one of the upper classes. This is why I hate talking to them. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty bad. That's the infamous dormitory number one, where all the nobility lives. It's supposed to be super fancy inside, with maids and butlers and everything. Yeah, sorry. Oh, hey, have you picked out a club to join yet? Doesn't sound like you have to or anything, but it's probably a good way to meet people. Stand, bow, be seated. As I'm sure you're all well aware, the Erebonian Empire was driven to the brink of collapse roughly 250 years ago. This was brought about by the conflict we know as the War of the Lions. A civil war lasting several years, staged over the throne of the late emperor by the most powerful of his potential successors. But of course, I'm not here to tell you that. If I were, I think even young children would be able to pass this course. <laughs> Rather, I'd like to discuss the effects this had on the empire as members of the aristocracy were drawn into the war. Many hired mercenaries turned to looting and pillaging, and a similar trend could even be seen among some of the knights. The land was left utterly devastated, and morale was at an all-time low. But then, lo and behold, into this nightmare stepped a man, a man willing to take a stand against this bloody war of succession. He was a wandering prince who began to rally forces from the outskirts of the empire, and would go on to make quite a name for himself. And that name, of course, was Dreykel's Rice Arnor. He would later become known as Dreykel's the Lionheart, the 73rd Emperor of Erebonia and father of the Renaissance. Not to mention the founder of this very academy. Dreykel's army was initially rather small in number. But as he traveled across the empire, winning over the hearts of influential sympathizers, his forces rapidly increased. Now, the place where Emperor Dreykels first began gathering his army was... Reen Schwarzer, would you care to tell the class?
Nice work, everyone. You made it through another grueling day of classes. In case you've been living under a rock, please don't forget that tomorrow is your first free day. It's not technically a day off, but there are no classes, so it's up to you what to do with your time. Why, you could go shopping in the capital if you wanted to. Or just do what I do and sleep all day. Sleep is so wonderful. Um, will the Academy's facilities still be open for our use? Yes, I'd like to be able to use the free study area in the library myself. Of course! This school shuts down for no one, so feel free to patronize any and all facilities as you like. A lot of clubs have meets scheduled for these free days as well, so anyone who's joined one should probably check on that. I see. I'll be certain to do so. Also, before you leave, we should go over what's happening next week. On Wednesday, you all have your practical exam. What does that entail exactly? It's part of your combat training. You'll be graded on your performance, so make sure you're well rested and ready for battle by then. Might be a good idea to do some training on your own time too, just to keep from getting rusty. Hmm. Interesting. I definitely don't like the sound of that. Oh, and one more thing. After the practical exam is over, I've got another important announcement. About a major part of Class 7's curriculum that I... haven't mentioned at all yet. What? So, whatever you choose to do on your free day, make it count for something. That concludes today's homeroom. Machias, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. All rise. Bow.